How long has it been since I've been here? A year? I would say about a year. So it's, it's a pleasure to actually be in front of you again, tell you a little bit about TechnoGoober and where we're at with our company. I mean, has, does everybody know where the name came from? I saw some familiar faces, so let me go ahead and just quickly, quickly uh, tell you about the name. There was a TV character called Goober Pyle. Anybody remember Goober Pyle? Some people are like, okay, what the world is going on here with this speaker? Well, Google Pile was the person in Mayberry that fixed all the vehicles for the residents. He had a cousin named Gomer Pile. Well, Google Pile, it was very reminiscent of what I want Techno Google to be. One, Mayberry, you know, hits home to me a lot. I grew up in a very small town, of course, it exploded throughout these years, uh, being 37, so over 37 years that Mayberry is kind of getting lost and I wanted to make sure that I stayed in that same mentality. One of my key functions of TechnoGoober is I would rather lose a client because I screwed up and did something wrong and they're not willing to forgive me than lose a client because I never picked up the phone to call them and say hi. The only time I will lose a client in TechnoGoober is because we are so overwhelmed and we did not gauge our growth well enough to be able to have the staff and means to service our existing clients. You know, from when I stood up here last time, I can't remember the numbers and everything, but I can tell you today, we have over 400 clients worldwide that we actually do service for. And I do not claim to be a web development company. You know, even though we specialize in web development, we are darn good at web development. And we are a service-based company employing some of the best goobers out there. And when I say goober, I mean, it's another term that you know means a lot of different things. These are highly technical problem solvers staffed by TechnoGoober in Sussex County, Delaware that allows us to service people all around the country. 80% of our business, because we are still young, is still local and we still focus on local. Majority of our marketing budget goes into the local community. We actually take our marketing budget that we would put on radio and stuff like that and we do things like No Principles, Marvelous Man, um, Brawls for a Cause, bring Mayberry back to Milton, which was not my idea, but I loved the idea, so we participated in it. This past weekend, we sponsored 2,000 water balloon fight with kids. This, up this upcoming weekend, on July 11, we've taken our marketing budget, and we, and we also, because of the family that we have, you know, developed with TechnoGoober, with all of our clients and everything, you know, there was a 24-year-old tradition in downtown Milton for kids, it was a free kids fishing tournament. And this year, for unknown reasons, it was not able to happen. So I would reach out to my clients saying, hey, this is, you know, this is for a good cause. And we were able to raise over $4,000 to have the first annual Amy and Opie Parents Fishing with Kids Fishing Tournament. And this is how we're marketing our company. We're getting out there to let them know that we are approachable. We are not the introverts that everybody thinks tech is all about. We want clients to know who we are but we want them to know who we are on a very personal level. The technology side, it's there. But, you know, anybody that actually looks at any of our work will see that we are creative, we are on the cutting edge. How many times have you ever been to a lawnmower website and actually seen the lawnmower going through grass on the front page? Well, neither did we. These are the type of people I employ and we push ourselves to be better than who we were when we first started here. From a growth perspective, is the only issues I run into from a growth perspective is unreasonable expectations. You know, we make sure expectations are set. Right now, anybody approaching us, we are two months out before we even work with you. But they know that when you, do, when you do work with us, you get our full attention. You know, from a company growth perspective, the hardest challenges that I have as a owner is getting the talent needed or the ambition or initiative from the individuals that I'm looking for to come on board to understand where we want to go from here. I think I stood in front of you at the last meeting and says we, we were working on a real estate solution. Well, that, that real estate solution has come to fruition. I mean, we provide the, one of the most affordable um, real estate solutions out there that is updated every five minutes. So within time that somebody puts something in what's referred to as the new matrix system at the Sussex County Association of Realtors, within five minutes, their website is up to date. Uh, we, and we put it in a call so, for instance, if any changes that happen inside of a very crazy environment that you guys work in, 
we just take care of it free of charge. And the more real estate um, sites we build, the more people we're able to employ just to focus on this real estate. We are, our next step is after um, the matrix move that they just had a big conversion about, we're actually gonna be moving into Kent County. Moving. So just like real estate, we're moving, just like East Coast real estate, we're moving into other counties as well. Um, from a growth, some of the cool things that we've actually done since the last time that we've been here. Um, one of the sites we're currently working on is if, uh, I thought it was fascinating, is if you ever did backyard horseshoe pitching with horseshoes and everything, well, there's this, there's this National Horseshoe Pitching Association, and these guys are serious. And we're working on one website that is, he's been working on, let's see if I brought it up, um, which is called horseshoesonline.com. The individual has been doing it himself since the 1980s. And this is a development site that's currently not launched, but we're working on reestablishing this US-based company. Um, and here's another one. This is a local company called Boardwalk Builders. You know, big imagery is the thing. People love the big images. And with our infrastructure in America, you know, growing so quickly, you know, we're not too worried about dial-up. Someone with dial-up probably not able to see this site anymore. But, but that's a very, 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 very small fraction of people nowadays. Um, some of the other ones, let's see. If you notice in the top right, uh, you can actually see the water moving in the background. Video is becoming more and more important in web development nowadays because that's what people want to see. The whole wow factor is very, very important and when we are in a better infrastructure than what we were five years ago to allow us to do that type of web styling. Now when I say, I keep referring to web because that's what we're probably most well known for. However, at one o'clock today, I will be sitting down with a client and we will be going over how to take RTF documents and switching them over to PDF documents. And this is a problem that has been plaguing his company for about a year now and he wants this problem to be resolved. And because we are techno Uber, we have a Uber for that. Thank you, Frank. Yeah. I was getting so mesmerized, I almost forgot about the time. <laughs> I, could, I could go forever. <laughs> OK, it's time for questions. Frank, it's nice to have you back again. Nice really. to see you as well. And like you said, it was about a year ago or so. Uh, we were excited when you first came on board with us here at Million Cups. and. Definitely, you bring the wow factor. And there's one thing about One Million Cups, especially the Kauffman Foundation. If you go to Kansas City, the first thing they ask you as a representative, how about expressing a wow factor for us? As the, and you certainly bring your, obviously, videos in. My concern uh, revolves around, last year I think you announced that you had an intern mm -hmm. working with you. and. We're big on interns, obviously, working with local people. So yep. can you tell us more about that program? So far, um, I've had probably four interns probably since the last time we, we talked. Um, you know, managing the interns and everything um, has presented a problem because of the success of our company and, every, and whatnot. Uh, two interns, I would say Brandon and Jane, came from here. Uh, they both went went to better themselves so as the company owner and everything as far as you know me bringing interns in me employing the interns as long as they're better than themselves and i know where they're they want to head i mean brandon held the position of our tech staff for about one year and he says hey i want to go into security well obviously technogruber has wants nothing to do with security so we help them out and actually it's it's very you know being that it's hard to find the talent having the talent losing in so far, it's actually worked out because I believe highly in karma and by allowing these people to prove themselves, I've actually gotten even more impressive staff to fill those positions. You know, I'm still looking for interns, you know, always want to make sure that they're right for the fit. You know, unfortunately, there's one recently that brought in an intern and everything. He got the job because he deserved to have the job. You know, unfortunately, as an owner, you can't really convince somebody that they, they, need, to, they need to stay, but they want to move on. Well, well, that brings me then to the question of backlog. If your statement is that you have a two-month backlog and there's a lot of entrepreneurs out that are still struggling with the timeline to just get up and running, yeah. a two-month backlog 
sounds like a long time. It, in our world, it, it is, it's, but it's something that we had to either make a decision because we're looking, whatever you're producing from a college perspective, we're looking at three months of training internally to meet our guidelines, to meet our level of expertise. You know, some of those bumps in the road you experience as an owner is, you know, trying to, you know, push those three months of training internally to try to get them done quicker and sooner to only have to continue to clean up after other people. The people, the, ma the main group of Tech New Gruber has been with me from almost day one, and they're the ones that are helping us grow as a company. Frank, it's wonderful to see your growth. You were very modest, though. I would like to introduce the marvelous man of Milford. Um, I get that title for there was year. a contest going on. It was Breast Cancer Coalition at Harrington Raceway, and you won the whole contest by bringing in the most funding. Yep. So congratulations on that. <laughs> and, and it's funny that you, know, you say the most funding, and um, a lot of that is me going back to my clients and say, hey, you trusted me to do the work for you. You know, and you pay me in, you know, hey, can you give a little bit more for the Breast Cancer Coalition? And they said yes. But I wish you had worn your sunglasses and your cape for this event. Sorry. Yeah, I have a little bow tie and the round glasses. <laughs> it was great. It was super. It's wonderful to have seen your growth because I'm a member of the Milford Chamber and I've seen you, when you from the beginning. Yep. Um, and I know you said you wanted to grow into Kent and Newcastle County. Um, and that 80% of your business is local. And I can understand why, because it's the high touch and the personality. Are you planning to go down to the Maryland area at all, or are you pretty as much? Right, as of right now, no. Um, there's a very good company in the lo lower Maryland area that's taking care of their clients. Oh. I mean, what I'm looking for is the gotcha. areas where clients need us the most. Wonderful. D uh, Ken County, um, it really is lacking in that right now, and we need to start pushing in that, okay. that area. Terrific, thank you. You're welcome. How many employees do you have? Eight, we're working, in, and we're currently looking for somebody right now that is a, con we are looking for a content writer that specializes in um, newspaper, like writing for newspapers and stuff. I'm just curious, how long does it take for you to build a site, like say for a real estate company? Real estate company, because we built we built Google Solutions and everything, we can, with our solution, we can probably turn a real estate site around in less than three weeks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Additional questions? Good to see you back. Thank you. Congratulations, and the business is growing. Yep. Employees, job creation, profitability. Yeah, we just doubled our size of our office. Awesome, so where are you located? We're located on the second floor of Atlantic Millwork, and that is right across from the, the vineyards. And with the owners of Atlantic Millwork learning of the prospect that we might have to move out, mm -hmm. they said, what about this space? Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> okay, great. Would you talk a little bit about your fee base? Our fee base is, we base everything on an hourly rate. Um, I think we're probably in the mid-range or hourly rate in the local area at $85 an hour as far as our, what we're actually trying to achieve. The majority of our projects are fixed fee. We've done so many projects, we understand exactly how many hours that it's gonna to take to actually do what you want as far as the scope of work is concerned. Now, based on that, there's always two areas of concern that I have. It's always the artwork, how picky are you gonna be, and it's always gonna be about content. You know, where do I get it? How am I getting it? Do you have time to get it to me? or at least let us interview you, which is why I'm bringing on additional help in that area. Because that's one of the things that are happen is happening with our backlog is we don't have the content to finish these sites out and they just sit out there for a while. So by bringing that on, we're hoping to take our two month backlog down to probably, hopefully a couple weeks depending on the right person. Um, but we should be able to, from beginning to end, you know, in a real world with not having a backlog, you know, finish the site in less than a month. Okay, that was my other concern yeah. As Mike, I'm, talk, I'm thinking about supply, demand. Yeah, and actually the funny thing about that is I, w I keep very good track of my um, sales records and everything like that, and the percentage has really not changed even though I have a two-month backlog. People are willing to wait knowing that a lot of other stuff can actually be done in those two months prior to actually for us to get started. Okay, so you prioritize. I, yeah, project management, I if anything, project management is huge in our world. 
Just to comment, the amount of animation that you have with uh, with what you build yeah. is is very remarkable. And if you can, if you're deliverable, what you're saying is basically a three to four week deliverable. Can can these animated sites that you're showing, they fall into the three to four week deliverable? Usually this, the animation parts of these are like the last thing, we, right before we launch, we always look at ourselves and say, what can we do? And we take that day to actually finish, finish out the little, you know, special things that we actually Amazing. put in there. Amazing. Just want to clarify that uh, some people do not know where the vineyard, vineyards are. Would you clarify uh, the location a little bit more, please? Yep. Yeah, uh, as you're going to Lewis, uh, right before you get to Five Points, you take a left right there there's a vineyard which is a client of ours um that's all vineyards where you can get some really nice local wine and there's a row of buildings cape gazettes in there uh jgm paintings in there and then you'll find atlantic millwork which has been there forever right on the second floor of atlantic millwork is a great location for us that's great so someone won't go to seaford looking for you then <laughs> yeah. additional questions really Frank, what can yeah. we as a community do to support you and help promote you? Uh, keep getting the word out. Stay, stay alert to seeing things out there that's techno guru related. I think the next thing after the Indian OP fishing tournament, which is really cool, and the fact that we have 265 prizes, all prizes are over $10. Anything that's left over from that tournament will be going to the Good Old Boys Foundation, which they will distribute those prizes to kids at Christmas. Uh, we will be doing Farm Fling, which is a kids-based pumpkin chunking, um, and that's going to happen in Sussex County, just to keep the tradition alive. It's backed by the founders of Pumpkin Chunkin. Um, then after that, we'll be doing Delaware Day. We were heavily involved in Delaware Day at 16 Mile, and there's probably an there's another event happening in December, just stay tuned. Um, with Children's Beach House that we are heavily involved in. So we're giving back to the community because the community is, you know, helping us out to achieve our goals every day. 